Next chapter 7 Subject Control System Engineering Now the chapter Frequency Response Analysis This subject belongs to 6 semester electrical I am representing faculty Arunanjan Naik HOD Electrical Engineering Electrical Polytechnic What is Frequency Response? The response of a system can be partitioned into both the transient response on the steady state response. We can find the transient response by using Fourier integrals. The steady state response of a system for an input sinusoidal signal is known as frequency response. In this chapter, we will focus only on the steady state response. If a sinusoidal signal is applied as an input to the linear time variant system, then it produces the steady state output which is also a sinusoidal signal the input and output sinusoidal signal have the same frequency but different amplitudes and phase angles let the input signal be r of t is equal to a sin of omega 0 into t the open loop transfer function will be gs is equal to g of j omega we can represent g of j omega in terms of magnitude and phase as shown below g of j omega is equal to magnitude of g of j omega angle g of j omega substitute omega is equal to omega 0 the above equation g of j omega 0 is equal to magnitude of g omega 0 angle g j omega 0 the output signal is c of t is equal to a mod of g j omega 0 into sin omega 0 t plus angle g j omega 0 the amplitude of the output sinusoidal signal is obtained by multiplying the amplitude of the input sinusoidal signal and the magnitude of g j omega 0 out omega is equal to 0 the phase of the output signal sinusoidal signal is obtained by adding the phase of the input sinusoidal signal and the phase of g j omega 0 at omega is equal to omega 0 where a is the amplitude of the input sinusoidal signal omega 0 is the angular frequency of the input sinusoidal signal we can write the angular frequency omega 0 as shown below omega 0 is equal to 2 pi f 0 here f 0 is the frequency of the input sinusoidal signal similarly you can follow the same procedure for closed loop control systems the frequency domain specifications the frequency domain specifications are first one resonant peak second one resonant frequency third one bandwidth t of s transfer function is given by cs by rs is equal to omega n square by s square plus 2j omega n into s plus omega n square substitute s is equal to j omega in the above equation t j omega is equal to omega n square divided by j omega square plus 2 j omega n j omega plus omega n square so t j omega is equal to omega n square minus omega n square plus 2 j j omega n plus omega n square that is equal to omega n square all divided omega n square all into 1 minus omega square by omega n square plus 2j j omega by omega n let omega by omega 0 is equal to u substitute this value in the above equation tj of omega is equal to 1 by 1 minus u square plus j2 j u magnitude of tj omega is m is equal to mod of tj omega is equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus u square or square plus 2 j u whole square angle of tj omega is equal to minus tan inverse of 2 j u by 1 minus u square Fre resonant frequency it is the frequency at which the magnitude of 
frequency response has the peak value for the first time denoted by omega r at omega is equal to omega r the first derivative of the magnitude of t j omega is zero differentiate m with respect to u we have dm by du is equal to minus of 1 minus u square square plus 2 j roll square to the power minus 3 by 2 well into 2 well into 1 minus u square well into minus 2 u plus 2 well into 2 j u into 2 j dm by du is equal to minus of square bracket 1 minus u square square plus 2 j euro square to the power minus 3 by 2 plus 4 well into 4 u well into u square minus 1 plus 2 j euro square substitute u is equal to u r and dm by du is equal to 0 in the above equation we have 0 is equal to minus half well into 1 minus u square square plus 2 j over whole square to the power minus 3 by 2 well into 4 u r u r square minus 1 plus 2 j square so 4 u r make common u r square minus 1 plus 2 j square is equal to 0 so that implies u r square minus 1 plus 2 j square is equal to 0 that implies u r square is equal to 1 minus 2 j square u r is equal to 1 minus 2 j square square root substitute u r is equal to u r by u n in the above equation we have u r by omega r by omega n is equal to square root of 1 minus 2 j square that implies omega r is equal to omega n square root of 1 minus 2 j square resonant peak it is the peak value of the magnitude of t j omega it is denoted by mr at u is equal to u r the magnitude of t j omega is mr is equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus u r square whole square plus 2 j u r whole square substitute u r is equal to square root of 1 minus 2 j square and 1 minus u r square is equal to 2 j square in the above equation mr is equal to 1 by 2 j square square plus 2 j square root of 1 minus 2 j square whole square mr is equal to 1 by 2 j square root of 1 minus j square the resonant peak 